Hello, this is Cam McCasson with Acuity, and welcome to this presentation on drafting and dimensioning with Solid Edge. Today we'll cover how to modify the default drawing template, as well as how to create new user templates, both procedures that can actually be used with any Solid Edge file types, not just drawings. We'll also look at the new view wizard, some neat tricks with dimensions, and blocks. Solid Edge Help Documentation describes templates as a default set of properties that defines what a new document will look like. Just to give you an idea of what settings can be assigned to a template, I included screenshots of most if not all settings associated with the draft files. Again, keep in mind the same procedure can be used to modify the template for any Solid Edge file type. First, select Open Existing Document, then navigate to the Templates directory in your Solid Edge folder. Next, open the template you wish to modify. For this demonstration, I will change the font size for text in ISO drawings. First, click on the Styles button on the Solid Edge View tab. Then open the list drop-down and select Styles in Use. Now select ISO from the Styles list and click the Modify button. Next, I'll navigate to the Text Font Size field and change it. Now the default text font size for ISO drawings is 3.17. Make sure to save and your next new document should reflect the changes. Solid Edge file options and sheet setup in the case of draft files could be modified and saved at the same time. And let's open a new draft file just to verify that our settings persist and the font size is in fact now 3.17 by default. Next, I want to cover a nice tool for creating new drawing templates that can even include pre-configured drawing views. To create a quick sheet template, first open a new drawing, make any style or file option changes you want to make, and then add any drawing views you might want. Give me just a minute to fill the screen with some different views. That should work. Before using the Quick Sheet tool, you should save a copy of your drawing just in case. Then open the Solid Edge menu and click Create Quick Template. You will get a message describing the tool's function and reminding you to save first. Click Yes and then save the template to your templates folder. To add your new template to the Create window, click Edit Creation Options, then Browse, and select your new template from the list. Give your new template a display name, then select Add, and then click OK. When using quick sheets with significantly different sized parts, you may have to adjust the drawing view scale, which is a nice segue into our next topic, the drawing view creation wizard bar. The view creation bar provides access to all the same drawing view settings that were originally part of the drawing view creation prompts when you created a new drawing view. If you prefer not to use the drawing view command bar, 
You can configure individual drawings or your drawing templates not to use it by unchecking the Use Drawing View Command Bar checkbox under Drawing View in the Solid Edge Options window. Now let's take a look at some tools Solid Edge provides for arranging and aligning dimensions. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a pre-dimensioned drawing. To create an alignment set in Solid Edge, select a dimension and then while holding the left mouse button down, move your cursor over the dimension you would like to align with. You should see your first dimension snap to align with the second and the second dimension turn red. Release the mouse button to align the dimensions. You can split one or multiple dimensions from an alignment set by right-clicking the first dimension you want to split, select Split Alignment Set, and by moving the mouse to the left, on top, or to the right of the first dimension, you can split the set three different ways. Note how the dimensions highlight red when selected. Or, you can break an alignment set completely by right-clicking any dimension in the set and then selecting Break Alignment Set. Solid Edge also allows users to arrange dimensions by a standard separation distance, or stack pitch, using the Dimension Arrange tool. Now, let's take a look at blocks and connectors, Solid Edge's 2D diagramming tools. We won't cover everything there is to cover with blocks, but we will cover how to work with the standard libraries and how to create new blocks and new user libraries. First, to show blocks in the library window, you need to click the View Blocks button, then navigate to the Sample Blocks folder in your Solid Edge directory. To demonstrate the Blocks tool, I'm going to create a new block in a new user directory using some of Siemens' sample blocks. First, I'll select some blocks from the sample block libraries. Now that I have all of my building blocks, I can use any of Solid Edge's sketching tools to create my new block. Now, just like with any sketch geometry, I'm going to use the Sketch Constraint tools to connect things together.
I'll cover connectors in more detail later. I'm just going to use one quickly here. I've also just noticed I've aligned the wrong parts of the diode and capacitor, so my inductor coil is going to be crooked, but that's no big deal. When you're having trouble locking to geometry constraints, you can sometimes get them to appear by highlighting the geometry that you're trying to connect to. Also, hovering over the geometry long enough for the little mouse icon to appear and right clicking will allow you to open the quick pick menu, which is really the much more reliable solution for that problem. Now that our block is complete, we want to highlight everything that the block will include and click the Create Block button. Note the Block Options button, and the first action is highlighted, but we've already selected our geometry, so hit the green arrow or right click. Now we select a block origin, and lastly, we give it a name. This draft file now contains a block named Buck Regulator. By saving it to a known location and browsing to the draft sheet in the block library file list, we can select the block in the block selection pane and see a preview in the preview window. In the interest of time, I'm going to move on to connectors, but we do intend to release a video covering nothing but all the things you can do with blocks in the near future. To demonstrate connectors, I'm just going to grab a block and make a loop. Corner shape connectors allow you to create either a corner or a line with just two clicks. To create a connector with a jump, select Jump from the Shape drop-down menu. The jump can be positioned manually by selecting the connector and dragging the jump selector. You can also change the size of the jump by changing the jump radius. That's it for this Solid Edge Lunch and Learn, but before signing off, I want to quickly cover some of the great resources provided to Solid Edge users. The Solid Edge help documentation is a particularly valuable resource. Besides the search bar, the product area on the left can help you navigate the help documents. There are a good number of step-by-step -step tutorials in the help documents.
You can also find tutorials in the Solid Edge Training Library. Some of the more advanced tutorials are pretty extensive. Last but not least is the Solid Edge community page. Notice the announcements link in the top right. Thanks for watching.